the show, Soumya makes faces. Kabir holds the camera. Soumya wears a pair of pants or not. Kabir sets off an alarm. Let's go! Let's go. It's a new year and like we promised, we are back it with new... It is not ha- new year. It is new year. Two weeks have passed. Okay. So this entire excitement of 2015, let's just like, you know... Kabir, you're it. such a killjoy. Okay, just talk about the how-to. Alright, so guys, what's up? And uh, welcome to how-to. And today's how-to, the first one is really interesting. It is. I love camera and photography. So do I. <laughs> Tell yourself that. Okay, so when it comes to cameras, cameras come with a stock user interface. Yes. There are certain features which are there, but certain features which are in pro cameras or very expensive ones. Yeah. But you can get those pro features in, in your, your entry level yeah, DSLR existing cameras. cameras. And it's going to turn your, wait, wait, don't tell them using what, but it's going to turn the camera into complete awesomeness. Exactly. Yeah. So let's uh, move on to that. How to get all these amazing features on, on your, your DSLR. DSLR. Entry level. Entry level. Don't take away my line. I started this how-to by telling you how to make your camera awesome and for that you need Kabir. Uh, Magic Lantern, that's Mm. a firmware. It's a firmware, it's a fantastic simple firmware. What it does is opens up your camera. Like for example, rooting your Android phone or jailbreaking the iPhone, it's something like that. So first of all, the disclaimer. So the disclaimer is that if you install this firmware, your guarantee or warranty will be null and void. That aside, this particular firmware will give you some amazing features. We'll test them out and first of all, let me tell you what all you need for this How-to. For this how-to, you will need an entry-level DSLR camera, one SD card, a laptop with internet connection. Installing Magic Lantern is easy but pay attention nonetheless. First thing to do is to format your SD card. This should be done via the camera. In the menu of your DSLR, you will have a format option. Click and it's done. Now take out the SD card from the camera and insert it in the SD card slot of your laptop. Meanwhile, open the Magic Lantern site www.magiclantern.fm. Once on the site, take your time to go through it. There is an option called Downloads. Click that. This will take you to Nightly Build page. If you take a closer look, you will see the warning given by the website. As we said, chances are your warranty will be void. This is a risk you need to think about before you go ahead with the installation. Once you've made up your mind, click on the option Browse Nightly Built. This will redirect you to a page asking you to select your camera type. We had a Canon 600D, so we went ahead and selected just that. After selection, you get a list of options. Scroll down to where it says Installation. Click on Download the old V2.3. The installation will begin almost immediately. Open the freshly downloaded zipped file, copy all files and paste them onto your SD card that you have earlier inserted in the laptop. Once that's done, take out the SD card, place it in your DSLR. It'll show the firmware. Click to ensure successful installation. This is the interesting bit which a lot of people don't know. When Mm. you see everything is like normal, Mm. nothing has changed, right? Like you've got your menu, you've got everything. But if you press the dustbin button or the delete button, there you go. (laughs) It's like very spy like. (laughs) You have to press the bin button to get it. So, see? And now we have all of these features that we can use. At this point, we suggest you go through the user manual for understanding the many, many functions that your DSLR is now equipped with. Okay, now that we have got Magic Lantern installed on our DSLR, yes, it's time to take correct. it for a test ride. The difficult part is over. It is exciting now because we are going to test a couple of features that we like about it. There are very many and we don't many have... Many features. Yeah, like, we don't have you all, have yeah. no clue. There yeah. are so many features. So, we can't do all of them, but we can do some of them, which are our favorite features. Starting with, uh, I like the fact that you can see audio in it. We'll show you how. Exactly. Uh, I like the fact that you can do focus speaking in it. What that is. What is is. focus speaking? We'll tell you that. We'll tell you that. Uh, Number three will be stop motion. Uh, You can do stop motion. Remember we did stop motion, but we did it one click at a time. But here, we don't have to do that. And last and final, 
time lapse. We've done that before too, but you can actually do time lapse within the camera. You don't need anything you else. You are understanding I that mean, that you don't have to actually take the footage onto a table. We are table. understanding that. They are understanding. You are understanding. We're understanding. Okay. Oh, should we show it? Yeah. Should we, we show it? Okay. <laughs> With Magic Lantern installed, the most amazing bit is you can no, see me, the no, audio no, levels no. while you're recording the video. So traditionally in a DSLR, you cannot see audio while you're shooting a video. So you don't know the audio levels, but with Magic Lantern, you can see the audio levels while you're shooting. So uh. you know how high or low the subject is talking and that is something really amazing. You can take the focus of your DSLR camera to a next level. In Magic Lantern, you have an option for peak focus. Turn it on and now everything and anything which is focused on the screen will be shown in a shaded area. You will see these dotted lines around the subject or the area of the frame which is in focus. And this will tremendously help you in doing manual focus. Now for stop motion, you need an intervalometer. meter. What it basically does, it takes pictures after a specific time that you have designated to it. Just browse to the heading which reads shoot. Under shoot, the second option is intervalometer. meter. You press the set button and it is set. Once you start shooting, it will take pictures after every three seconds or whatever time you have designated. How Magic Lantern helps you in creating a time lapse? Browse to the heading Movie inside Magic Lantern. Come down to FPS Override. We suggest that you override it to 5 frames per second. Just go ahead and start recording. When you play it back, it is beautiful 25 FPS of time lapse. Everything going really, really fast. See, I told you. <laughs> say it, Kabir. You know, Soumya thinks she's always right. No, Kabir, say the right line. Soumya is. Ah. Huh? Jaldi. Always right. Yes. And Kabir, you're always left. That's a now that you've put that on record that I'm always right, before we can take it back, moving on to the user query. We have loads of them coming up. So this week, there is somebody called Ankit, I think. Kabir? It is Ankit. Okay, so take a look. Uh, Ankit, seriously? You want to know how to hide folders inside the laptop? You know, you only have one line, Kabir. What? Just solve this one for him. Here you go. Go to the control panel. Choose appearance and personalization and then click on folder options. Select hide files and folders. Click OK. Right click on the folder of your choice. Right click on the folder and select properties. Select the hidden tab. Alright, so Samya, what you did last time for all your iPhone lovers? Last year, I turned the iPhone, no, iPod into a security camera, home security camera. And it was a pretty cool how-to. So, okay, all your Android lovers, don't worry. I'm going to teach you how to create a security system using your Android phones. <laughs> You have an Android phone lying at your place and you want to make a security system out of it. For that you will need, first of all, I to I duck chicky duck chicky ding. No, 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 not that I to I. By the way, Tahir Shah, amazing track. I love that track. That's the track of my life. We're talking about salient I. You need this on your Android phone. 
All right, so get Salient Eye, install it on your Android phone. Just put in your email, few details, and you're good to go. Do not forget to set the password for the app so you can deactivate the alarm later. Now to arm this app, all you need to do is keep your phone so that it is not moving. Press the button just exactly in the middle, that circular green thing. And yes, it will arm in 10 seconds. Okay, so two, one, bang, bang. But it detects movement, so you have to let it be. Now, if I move in front of it, it should make a... And to deactivate it, it's really important to pick this up because this thing is making so much sound. Shut up, you piece of technology. One, two, three, four. That was my password actually. It's deactivated any motion detection and it will sound an alarm, send you an SMS and an email. This is your band. <laughs> now wear it without using your hands. Let's go! Let's